next level minute 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 next level minute
in D.C. Yeah. All expensive pay. Mm -hmm. So God is a divine promise keeper. Yes, Whatever God said that he will do for you, God will keep his promises. Yes. And so therefore God spoke unto Moses and told Moses that he wanted him to go and to lead the people out of Egypt. Yes. And so therefore we know that as God led the people out of Egypt, he had to do some mighty strong things, some great works, some miracles, signs, and wonders. Yes. Sometimes you just got to trust God. You got to believe God for miracles, for signs, and wonders in your life. And so therefore, we know that God will go to any extent to be able to bring you out and deliver you and to make assured the thing that he has told you that he will do. Many times, many of those men and women saw the miracles that God allowed Moses and Aaron to be able to perform. And so therefore, God does not, it does not matter to him whether he has to send you before kings, let you stand before presidents and governors and stand before prime ministers. Whatever God got to do to bring about his will in your life, God will do. The awesome thing that we must remember is the fact that what God wants us to know, what God wants us to understand, what God wants us to realize is that God will go to any extent yeah. to bring his promise to pass. So therefore, what God did was took Moses, raised him up, brought him back down to Egypt, amen, and he was 40 when he left, 80 when he returned, and had more power than he had vision or that he had known down to be. We must understand that God is a promise keeper. Somebody said promise keeper. That the God has shown you, that the God has allowed you to see, that the God has allowed you to witness. God will keep his promises. So therefore, God told Moses to go and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. So therefore Moses was wondering, Lord, who shall I tell him? Send me. God said, tell him I am. Send you. Somebody said, God is. That means that God said, I am, I am what you need me to be. I am the miracles that I'm going to perform. I am the deliverer. Amen. It's going to bring my people out. I am the one that's going to perform miracles in you and miracles down in Egypt. And so therefore we find that while Moses was on the mountain, there was two things that was greatly feared in Egypt. Amen. And so God was given power over fear when he turned the rod into a serpent. Because they ruled and tortured people in snake pits and they tortured the folk and they worshiped the serpent, amen, and the cobra. But God said, I got power over the cobra. Yeah. So the very thing that Moses had as a companion called a staff, God put power in the staff. Yeah. Somebody said, God gonna put power in the thing that he gives you to work with. How many know that God will give you some things to work with? If you do the work, God will give you what you need to get the job done. So therefore, Moses, amen, God turned that rod into a serpent because he wanted Moses to know that you got power over the serpent. And so therefore, not only that, but God let him put his hand in his bosom and put it out, and it was the plague which means that God is saying, I'm giving you power over the plagues of man. And so therefore we saw that God sent Moses down into Egypt and Moses told Pharaoh to let my people go. Now Pharaoh didn't want to let them go, but
But God had already told Moses back before he left the mountain. God said, I'm going to bring a plague on Egypt. And I'm going to slay the firstborn. Somebody said, God will not forget. What the devil tried to do against your life. Folk that try to hold you down, hold you back, put you down, stop you from progressing, stop you from going forward, try to block you along the way, God is going to move them out of your way and allow you to accomplish, accomplish his will. Somebody said, God the will. So therefore, what God did is told Moses, said, what I want you to do, Moses, I want you to understand that I'm going to, amen, slay the firstborn of Egypt. Yes. As Pharaoh did it to the house of Israel, yes. I'm going to do it to his house. Yes. So therefore, God allowed Moses to go on down the path. And the Bible said he was going to harden Pharaoh's heart. Yes. That he won't let him go until God. His plan was divinely complete. Somebody said, God, I'm not going to let you go until his plan is complete. Some folk left, amen, Egypt too early. Some folk left the place of blessings too early. Those that wanted to go and become great and an overnight sensation. Many of them find themselves still being wandering stars. Not able to put a ministry together. Not able to make it last. Not able, amen, to uh, be able to accomplish the things because they left their assignment too early. Am I talking right? See, Moses didn't only give God, didn't only give Moses power. He did not only give him deliverance, but he gave Moses a divine assignment. Somebody said it was a divine assignment. So therefore, what God did is said, I want you to go down to Egypt. Let tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And so therefore, Moses thought that since I got all, all this power, since I got all this anointing, well, maybe this thing is going to be a breeze. But how many know that sometimes God got to let you go through some stuff? God got to let you accomplish some things. God got to let you be tempted, tested, and tried. Look at somebody that said, God may not be finished with me yet. That means you're still going through. That means you still got a problem here and there. That means some things are still testing your faith. That means some stuff God want to know is you've got the power to stand. Do you have the patience to wait? Do you have the endurance to wait on me and trust me through all that you're going through? Amen. But I'm so glad today. Praise God. I've learned how to trust God. I've learned how to wait on the Lord. Now through the years, I've seen enough miracles. And we've talked about it this morning in Sunday school. Brother Lee talked about all that God had worked in his family. Different folks have been shot. His brothers have been shot. And you can't even tell where they've been shot at. Amen. How that his brother, amen, went through a bad transition. Amen. And wrecked and got all broke up. But how the Lord kept the family. And he got a praying cousin or a praying uncle that God sit down from North Carolina that went in the room and then put all of them out. Went in by himself. Amen. And prayed until God gave him the answer. Told him what he was going to heal on him and what he wasn't going to heal. And they all went in the room in a matter of minutes. And how God had let the young man set up in the bed like he'd never been sick before. They are miracles of Mother Young's aunt 
drink water in a man to blood. Am I talking right in here? Not only that, but Moses had the power to call on God's air force. Locals were sliding, amen, all through the air. And God turned around and began, amen, to send his frogs in like the Marines.
Thank you.